is that time of month again where we unbox all of my monthly subscription boxes. So these are all of the boxes for October. We have the usual suspects. So there is Lumicrate and the monthly YA Fairy Loot. Both of these were sent to me to show to you guys. So thank you very much to Lumicrate and Fairy Loot for that. Both of them are UK based subscription boxes where you will get a brand new hardback book and a selection of bookish goodies. Fairy Loot is exclusively like YA fantasy and sci-fi. Lumicrate do the occasional not fantasy or sci-fi but also they kind of dip between adult, new adult and young adult. If you would like to get your hands on a little crate after watching this video, I do have a discount code for you guys. My code is Becca5 and that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription. Aside from these two, we have the two that I pay for, which is the Adult Fairy Loot, which is a monthly book only adult fantasy and sci-fi subscription and the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship, which is a book only, mainly adult, occasionally a bit of young adult sci-fi and fantasy book subscription. So as usual, this video Video is going to be chapter down below in case you guys are avoiding spoilers for anything but let's get cracking we're going to be starting off with the fairy loot today i feel i what month is it october for these i know what the goldsboro book is i think that's all i remember at this point i'm really bad now though i used to want to be surprised i'm really bad at looking at spoilers for subscription boxes so the likelihood is that i have seen all of these books before or at least like i know what books they are oh i remember being excited for this theme actually and i can see socks so the theme for October Fairy Lou is Sell Your Soul. Here are the spoilers if you guys would like to pause and check them out. I will be going in blind and so will Brie. Who, this is the first time um, I filmed an unboxing with her in the room and I feel like I'm gonna live to regret it because she already has the noodles. Okay, so digging into our first box, I'm just gonna pretend that she isn't pilfering the package now. We have a pair of socks. These ones, it says Raven socks. So I would assume that it's inspired by the Raven boys. Yes, Caves Water socks. So definitely the Raven boys. I feel like I need to get out. Stop it. I need, can Fairy Loot, Fairy Loot, my loves, can you put a dog toy in one of these boxes? <laughs> I know not everyone has a dog, but it would really be helpful to me with my unboxings. But here we have the like normal ankle socks. I do love a subscription box sock. I can't lie. They last a long time. I think of all the subscription box socks that I've ever had, there's only one pair that actually has holes in, which is interesting. Can you not? These are my socks. Okay, so moving underneath we have, oh, we have another one of these. I really like these items as well. These are little pop-up baskets. The last one that we got from Fairy Lou, I believe I put in my bathroom to put all of my skincare and stuff in. This one is inspired by, is it Once Upon a Broken Heart? The Stephanie Garber book. I'm assuming it's that instead as opposed to Caraval. But it says heroes don't get happy endings, they give them to other people, which is fair. And that's why you should always stun a villain in my opinion. Get off the box. This is also um, one of the fairy loots that has a bonus paperback in occasionally in both fairy loot and Illumicrate. They will put like a paperback that is additional to the book of the month. And this one is Princess of Souls by Alexandra Christo. Does, uh, did Alexandra Christo write one of the mermaid books back in the day, but I can't remember which one it was. It'll say in the front. To Kill a Kingdom. I do have, I don't know if you guys have noticed that my throat's getting a bit raspy as well. I do have a cold at the minute, but I just need to get my videos filmed. So this one is, I'm going to assume it's an exclusive edition. I don't know if it is an exclusive cover. If it is, I will overlay it over the top so you guys can see the difference. It is also signed by the author. And I really like, I have to say, I really like the green and orange. Get your nose out with the noodles. So the front of this says a girl curse returns to your boy on a quest for vengeance. And the synopsis says there are many who believe they can cheat death. When they fail, I take their souls. I am intrigued. Every single one. Celestra is heir to a powerful magic. Locked away in a tower by a cruel king, her destiny is to foretell death and harvest doomed souls to feed his immortality. Nox is a soldier who has spent years plotting vengeance on the crown. Now he's determined to steal the king's immortality and kill the entirety of his court, starting with Celestra. But when Celestra and Nox's futures become entwined and death seeks both of their souls, they're forced to put their trust in each other. Can they work together to escape their dark fate? Interesting. And it does say on the back that it is a Fairy Loot exclusive edition. Nice. I like bonus book ones. Can't lie. And then if we dig down to the bottom of here, moving the book of the month out of the way. We do have one more item, I think, down at the bottom, which is this gorgeous art print. Is this Hall's Moving Castle? Oh my god, I think yes. Look, oh my god. 
Oh my god, I love Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle is actually one of my favourite books of all time. And I actually, while I do really love Studio Ghibli, I read the book before I watched the movie. So I am a book girl. But oh my god, if I am not in love with the wizard Howl. So I really, really like this. Just before we get into the book of the month as well, in every fairy loot, you will get two tarot cards. They're kind of like bonus items. And the idea is that like eventually you'll have a full deck of tarot. But oh, oh my god. Are these who I think they are? I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't want to look stupid though okay so the cards are temperance and the judgment and i think that they're citra and rowan from scythe give me that she just tried to steal the spoiler card yes they are rowan and citra from scythe by neil shusman which is one of my favorite ya series you are making a mess of absolutely everything right now girl you're an embarrassment to your family so the book of the month is oh it has a lovely like dark green edge also have of course the monthly fairy scoop the letter from the author on the back of this art print and oh i've just seen the title and i don't know what this book is we should also have in here yeah the bookmark that matches the spoiler card art so the book for october is one dark window by rachel gillig which is i've never heard of this book but i love the cover we have really pretty end pages in here oh we also have under dust jacket art the end pages are also different on each side and the under dust jacket art is also gorgeous the sprayed edge is a solid green and as usual do we have oh oh we're not signed which is fine because i honestly don't care that much about a signature it's just unusual to have a subscription box book that isn't signed so the synopsis on this i was born with the fever my blood dark as night an angel mercurial spirit is trapped inside elspeth spindle's head she calls him the nightmare he protects her he keeps her secrets but nothing comes for free especially magic when Elspeth meets the mysterious highwayman on the forest road, she is thrust into a world of shadow and deception. Together they embark on a dangerous quest to cure the turn of blunder from the dark magic infecting it. As the stakes heighten and their undeniable attraction intensifies, Elspeth is forced to face her darkest secret yet. The nightmare is slowly darkly taken over her mind and she might not be able to stop him. So it sounds intriguing. Sounds like we have a little bit of a dark element in there, which I love. And oh my God, I didn't even notice. The, um, you guys probably did. <laughs> there is art on the naked hardcover as well so as usual down in the comments let me know your favorite item from this month's fairy loot i i don't have one this is a solid box i love the art print i love the basket and i love the socks but none of them are like standing out to me because i expect just so much from fairy loot no fairy loot generally um come through for me that i yeah this is a really good box but it's not like i've seen them do phenomenal boxes in the past so keeping on the theme of fairy loot we will just go for the adult once again i cannot remember what this book is pretty sure i have spoiled myself for it in the past though the theme is oh it's a dystopian interesting fairy loot don't do a whole ton of like sci-fi or dystopia so i'm intrigued to see what this is because when i think of dystopia like i don't think that this book is going to be that type of dystopia oh i don't know what this is oh it's veronica roth's new book isn't veronica roth divergent this is called poster girl it's an adult book from veronica Ro mm. Mm, it says a fallen regime a missing child a chance at freedom it does have foiling under the dust jacket end pages didn't even notice the stenciled edge it looks like nicole richie on the front of this is anybody else seeing that so the synopsis on this i didn't know that veronica roth was coming out with a book it is signed as well it says what's right is right sonia cantor knows this slogan she lived by it for most of her life for decades everyone in the seattle portland megalopolis lived under it as well as constant surveillance in the form of the insight an ocular implant that tracked every word and every action rewarding or punishing by a rigid moral code set forth by the delegation that was a lot for someone with a cold it's hurting my throat then there was a revolution the delegation fell its most valuable members were locked in the aperture the prison on the outskirts of the city and everyone else now free from the insights monitoring went on with their lives sonia former poster girl for the delegation has been in prison for 10 years when an old enemy comes to her with a deal find a missing girl who was stolen from her parents by the old regime and earn her freedom the path sonia takes to find the child will lead her through an unfamiliar crooked post-delegation world where she finds herself digging deeper into the past and her family's dark secrets than she ever wanted to with razor sharp prose poster girl is a haunting dystopian mystery that explores the expanding role of surveillance on society an inescapable reality that we welcome all too easily i don't 
know about this. I don't like the synopsis too much. I will give it a try as well. You guys know what I'm like. I, I will I give everything the benefit of the doubt because some of my favourite books are ones that I thought that I wasn't going to like. But I also don't like Veronica Roth. I don't like the Divergent series very much. It's not doing it for me. But it's an interesting choice for Fairy Loot as well. Because when I said, when I think of dystopian, I don't feel like the book's going to be like dystopian. It is like dystopian. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop saying that now. But yeah, that was the adult fairy loot for October. I need a tissue. I'm dying over here. Moving on to the October Illumicrate. Illumicrate tape never likes my letter opener. The theme for this month is from Beyond Death. Once again, do not remember what the book is. Here are the spoilers in case you guys want to pause and take a look. And the theme for next month is some kind of monster. And I feel like based on what the theme art looks like, I'm guessing The Luminaries by Susan Dunnard, which is going to be interesting because I don't like Truth Witch, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, we have a blanket in this one. My pets will be happy. Oh, we have, I think this is the final mug in the collectible teacup set that they're doing, which is like inspired by mythology. I think Greek myth, I think they're all Greek. And this final one is Hades and Persephone, my faves. Although I feel like a, a dark, these are really pretty. I love these teacups. I don't have any use for them. I really like the art on them. And you guys know I especially love Hades and Persephone. Back it up. Why are you climbing onto my knee? And then the saucer. These aren't for you, my love. Mummy's working. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I think for me, they just take up too much space. And I know people have said like, why don't you make them into candles? I have a lot of candles already. <laughs> I really don't need any more. So yeah, I do really, really like them. It's just for me, they're too, I, I just don't have any kind of use for them because they're too small to drink out of. And I don't have any space to like display them properly. Oh, this is handy. A cable tidy set. I'm going to give these to Curtis and hopefully he'll actually use them. The amount of times I've told the boy to tidy his cables and has he done it? Absolutely not. This is Strange the Dream of Blanket. Strange the Dream is one of my favourite books. And y'all know I love a blanket. Are you excited for a new blanket bun? I actually give these to Hamilton because Brie just eats every blanket that she owns. But this, oh, is it double sided? Kind of, maybe? Oh, I love this. This is gorgeous. And it matches this room. So I might actually use this one instead of just giving it to her. Why are you on my knee? And then digging into the bottom of the box, we have nothing, just the book of the month. So I have no recollection of what this is. The author is Kelly Andrew and that's still hasn't helped me but the book of the month is the whispering dark i've heard of this haven't i i will overlay the original cover over the top i'm almost certain that this is a unique oh this is giving fairy loot kingdom of the wicked cannot lie what is it you have lipstick all over your face my girl we have really pretty end pages in here as well and oh boiling under the dust jacket and reverse dust jacket art as well who are these oh i like the alternate cover oh the author's deaf she lost her hearing when she was four and as usual it is signed by the author so oh the back says it's a paranormal thriller interesting so the synopsis says delaney always talked to the dark but now the dark talks back delaney may as petrov is tired of being seen as fragile just because she's deaf so we have own voices rapping here so when she's accepted into a prestigious program at god bowl university that trains students to slip between parallel worlds she's excited for the chance to prove herself but her semester gets off to a rocky start when she has an awkward encounter with a pretentious upperclassman who she has every intention of keeping her distance from. Colton Price has been ordered to keep far away from the new girl and the voices that call to her from the shadows, but the pull of her proves impossible to ignore and he can't help but be fascinated by her unusual talents. After a fellow student turns up dead, Delaney and Colton are forced to form a tenuous alliance, plummeting down a rabbit hole of deeply buried university secrets. They soon find themselves up against something old and nameless, an enemy that threatens to tear them and their forbidden partnership apart. Sounds good. I think this, out of all of the synopses of the books I've um, read out today. This one sounds the most interesting to me and it's giving kind of Atlas 6. But yeah, looking forward to it and a really stunning edition. I don't love the cover but I feel like this is just the actual cover of the book maybe. The skeletons in the leaves are really doing it for me but I love the edge on this. I feel like my cold is getting worse. <laughs> Oh, my favorite item from the Illumicrate box. The blanket, the Strange the Dreamer blanket. Let me know down in the comments as usual what your guys' favorite item is. Our final box is the Godsborough Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship. I <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know ah, shit how i injure myself so much oh, you just got fuck 
a perfect, perfect example. Uh, actually, I think I've caught myself. As I was saying, the October Goldsboro book, I think is a sci-fi. Not sure how I feel about it. It looks like a species sci-fi, but I am very excited. Oh no, no, it's the November book that's a sci-fi. This one is Rincha Pecos new book which has a gorgeous cover and i'm also particularly excited for goldsboro's i'm not cancelling my subscription anytime soon am i i definitely want even though it would be outside of my vlog series where i should have cancelled i definitely want the december one because it has gorgeous spread edges this one is oh it's a very like square hardback it feels very cheaply printed and oh the sprayed edge isn't flawless which is fine i don't care that much but for goldsboro like they normally have the most pristine sprayed edges so this one is silver under nightfall by rinch peko i have read the bone witch series by rinch peko and i did enjoy it this one has a solid red sprayed edge which i think i don't know if you can see down here is where the imperfection is oh it's a vampire book that's a very big synopsis so prepare yourselves guys as usual oh the um the number is printed normally it's written in but this is number 609 and it is signed by the author why does it say it's been published in association with goldsboro is this not a real book oh look at that that is pretty so the synopsis on this before my throat gives out on me oh kendall blake well do i mm, i don't like anyone who's writing buffy books really <laughs> remy pendergast is many things the only son of the duke of valenbon an elite bounty hunter of rogue vampires and an outcast among his fellow reapers his mother was the subject of gossip even before she eloped with a vampire giving rise to the rumors that remy is half vampire himself though the kingdom of Aluria barely tolerates him remy's father has been shaping him into a weapon to fight for the kingdom at any cost. When a terrifying new breed of vampire is sighted outside of the city, Remy prepares to investigate alone, but then he encounters the shockingly warm-hearted vampire heiress, Zhao Den Sung, and her infuriatingly arrogant fiance, Lord Z Zidane Malek. Malek, who may hold the key to defeating the creatures, though he knows associating with them won't do his reputation any favours. When he's offered a spot alongside them to find the truth about the mutating virus rot that's plaguing the kingdom, Remy faces a choice, one he's certain he'll regret. As the three encounter dangerous hardships during their journey, Remy develops fond and complicated feelings for the couple. For the couple the couple he begins to question what he holds true about vampires as well as the story behind his own family legacy as the rock continues to spread across the kingdom remy must decide where his loyalties lie with his father and the kingdom he's been trained all his life to defend all the vampires who just might be the death of him i gotta say i'm intrigued i'm intrigued by this i am it, it was the it was the confusing feelings for the couple that, that had me i have to say i really appreciate the way that fairly color themed the two books in the ya books but those are five books from my October subscription boxes. Down in my comments, as usual, let me know what your favorite items from each of these boxes are. If you would like to check out any of these boxes, maybe get them for yourselves. The links to all of the boxes are in my description box, as well as any discount codes that I have and all of their social media as well. A big thank you once again to Illumicrate and Fairy Loot for sending me boxes to show in this video. And aside from that, guys, please don't forget, I need to put these down, I can't do this. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. You head to my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the etsy for that and a 10 percent off discount code that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you're a go when nobody knows with guns sitting under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no